February is Black History Month, and I'm sure you're all exhausted from all the parties and parades. For me, growing up as a black person in the 70s in Newfoundland was uh, interesting. In fact, they had a special name for black people there, Trent. <laughs> we had Black History Month there, but the celebration was just me and a kid from the Philippines. So this year, to help you celebrate, I'm giving you my Black History Month do's and don'ts. One, do remember Viola Desmond, who is now on the $10 bill because she refused to get out of the white section at the movie theater. I walked into a theater the other day proudly knowing I could sit wherever I wanted. So I sat on a dude's lap <laughs> and ate his popcorn and ruined his date night. Thank you, Ms. Desmond, your money. Number two, don't wear blackface. You should only have a blackface if you were born with an actual black face. So check your face. If it's naturally black, you're good. If it's not, remember shoe polish is for shoes. <laughs> Number three, do ask, why is black ice so terrible? It's not like white ice isn't slippery. From now on, black ice is African-Canadian ice. <laughs> I know that sounds like a new beer from Molson's, but use it. Number four, don't ask a black person if they tan in the summer. I do. <laughs> Number five, do remember when you drink too much, you don't black out, you passed out from too many white Russians. <laughs> Number six, do remember that Willie O'Ree from Fredericton, New Brunswick was the first black player to play in the NHL and did so by navigating white slippery ice, which sounds like a horrible rapper name. Number seven, do learn more about black history, continue to be kind to people of all ethnicities, and remember that while we still have a ways to go, we can be proud of how far we've come in this country.